hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose over here is 1920. Height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration I'm going to choose one minute long. Okay. And background color I'm going to choose black color and simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action. Then I'm going to press ctrl n to create another composition and I'm going to call it as side and width I'm going to choose 1080 height is also 1080 and other things are same and simply hit ok. Then I'm going to press ctrl n again and I'm going to call this composition as strip and over here uh, height I'm going to choose 108 sorry width I'm going to choose 1080 but height we are going to divide by 4 uh, so hit ok we will get this comp then press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok and we will lock this layer then i am going to select my text tool and for the font i am going to choose poppins font you are choose to you are free to choose any font you want uh, i am going to choose black color for this and i am going to choose a, a extra bold or let's say black version of this font and alphabetical distance is 0 now i'm going to type my text bold over here like this i'll select this text i'll press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center i'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically i'll press s for scaling option and i'll scale this text like this okay now i'm going to select my rectangle tool i'm going to delete this fill i don't need this fill and for the stroke i'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok and simply double click to create this kind of rectangle go to the rectangle one rectangle path and unlink this over here we need to oh sorry we need to decrease it from this side and we need to decrease it from this side okay and stroke width also i'm going to choose 10 pixels okay let's minimize this like this now let's go to the side option hit ctrl 0 we will bring our strip over here select this go to the align tab choose align top hit ctrl d enable this snapping and we will bring this downward hit ctrl d bring this downward hit ctrl d bring this downward okay select this second uh, layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and swap this color select this apply tint effect and swap this color <coughs> okay so we are getting gonna get this kind of stuff let's go to the yeah so our uh, text is properly aligned now we will go to our main animation comp i'll hit ctrl 0 to open my project window i'll select this side and i'll bring this over here i'll press s for scaling option and i'll scale it like this make sure that your snapping option is still on now i'm going to select this i'll hit ctrl d i'll snap it over here select this hit ctrl d snap properly over here hit ctrl d hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d and bring this downwards okay so we have this kind of stuff now this is the middle one so we will lock this because we are not going to change anything over here this one should be parent with this one so first of all uh, let's adjust the anchor point of them so i'm going to select my pen behind tool i'll select this I'll, I'll move this anchor point over here i'll move this anchor point over here this anchor point over here this anchor point oh, sorry press y select this and move this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here okay then i'm going to select this one and i'll make it apparent with this and so select this make it apparent with this one okay now convert all of these layers including this also into 3d 
and press R for rotation so tool so we are gonna get rotation on each and every axis I'm going to select this one and we need to rotate it on X axis so let's make this minus 90 now this uppermost is minus 90 so obviously this one should be plus 90 so rotate it on plus 90 degree this one should rotate on Y axis so select this rotate it on minus 90 degree like this and uh, this one which is apparent with this one we should also rotate it on minus 90 degree and we will select this one and uh, we should rotate it on plus 90 degree like this okay and hit you select all of them and let's uh, uh, i mean unlink this parenting now we will go to the top view and we will uh, bring this over here properly at the middle let's choose full resolution and we will bring this properly over here and adjust it over here like this now let's make this active camera view select all of them by hitting ctrl a and let's bring this in the middle now after that right click new and create one null object and convert this null object into 3d select all of the sides and we will make it apparent with this null object okay like this now let's make this fit now I'm going to press Ctrl N to create another composition and I'm going to call it as line like this width uh, uh, I'm going to choose 1080 height I'm going to choose 1080 now I am going to select this width and I'm going to type star over here star means multiply and now I'm going to multiply this by 12 and hit OK so I'm going to get get this kind of stuff now I'm going to bring my side comp and I'll move this over here and with the help of align tab I'll align it left make sure to enable the snapping tool hit ctrl D let's bring this over here bring this over here bring this over here and bring this over here like this okay like this now i'll go inside this side tool and as you guys can see uh, we have created this tint effect over here let's do one thing i'm going to delete this tint effect we don't need that so all of them are proper white in color like this okay now after that this null object is controller so i'm going to hit enter and call this null object as controller like this then i'm going to hit control zero and i'm going to bring my line comp over here like this and i'll press s and decrease the size until unless it's going to match this and i'll convert this null object into 3d now select this press r for rotation and we have to rotate it on x-axis so let's make this minus 90 like this and we'll go to the left view uh, and we will make sure that this should touch the bottom of this cube like this and also press s and decrease the size of it like this let's make this 27.5 okay so we are getting something like that let's try to adjust it over here or let's make this 27 only. okay this is properly adjusted as you guys can see this the uh, size of this side is also 27 and this one is also 27 so now let's go to the active camera view like this now after that i'm gonna go right click new and i'm going to add my camera and angle of view i'm going to choose 10 over here and hit ok so i'm gonna get my parallel camera then i'm going to select my unified camera tool inside that as you guys can see we have these four options out of which we are going to choose orbital camera tool and we will rotate our camera like this after that we will go inside this again and we will choose track z camera tool and zoom in a little bit like this now just for now i'm going to select my line tool over here i'm going to go infect and presets panel and i'll apply tint effect and i'll swap this color just for now now i'm going to go in my top view over here now as you guys can see this is not properly adjusted so i'm going to select this line and uh, what i'm going to do this bold and this bold should be properly lined so i'll bring this uh, at the top layer or oh, this is not going to work like that uh, what we are going to do i'm going to select this 
and I'll move this over here until this box is properly in the middle of this one and this one okay so let's adjust it properly so it will look like that the white text is between this two okay so now as you guys can see this is look line wise like that so i have adjusted the position of this line successfully and now i'm going to delete that tint effect i've used that just for the alignment okay now it's properly aligned so let's go to the active camera view and now we will start our animation now i'm going to select this line i'll press p for position i'll create one keyframe i'll go somewhere around one second over here and i'm gonna move this from here to here so let's go to the top view again like this and uh, let's move this from here to here like this we have to make sure that uh, it's going to be properly at the center only like this okay select those keyframe and hit f9 now after that let's go to the left view over here or let's go to the front view okay now i'm going to press ctrl r to bring down the ruler and i'll bring this line over here which should touch the bottom of this now let's select this controller press r for rotation we have to rotate it on z axis to rotate so create one keyframe and rotation go over here and let's make this 90. now select those keyframe uh, this uh, z position keyframe as well as the line position keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if i see we will get something like this if i see this in active camera view i'll get this kind of stuff okay but as you guys can see there is intersection happening between these two so to get rid of that i'm gonna go in my front view again i'm going to select this controller i'll press p and i'll create one keyframe now hit u hit page down button two times we will zoom in a little bit i'll with the help of arrow key upper arrow keys i'll move this a little bit upward the motto is the bottom of this cube should touch this line and create one keyframe hit page down button two times again with the help of arrow keys i'll adjust it hit page down button two times again adjust it hit page down button two times to go few frame forward and move this upward hit page down button two times again move this upward again two times and let's adjust it so i'll follow this procedure for each and every time just to get proper results with the help of down arrow key i'll adjust it over here page down button two times and move this over here and now at last copy the first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v okay so now if you see i'm gonna get this kind of stuff now we have to apply loop out expression so select this position keyframe alt click on this stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this we will select this z rotation alt click on this stopwatch type loop out expression and uh, inside that uh, brackets i'm going to type offset like this okay and for the controller also over here uh, alt click on this stopwatch on this position keyframe type loop out expression okay and let's make this fit and now if i go to the active camera view i'm gonna get this animation continuously in the form of loop now uh, let's go to the line over here i'm going to select this effect double click to apply and tint effect and swap this color to get black one tint effect copy up on this layer hit ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v until we are gonna get something up to this like this as you guys can see so we will get that these are converting in back black color and we will select this one hit ctrl v select this one hit ctrl v we will select this uh, line also ctrl v 
then we will select this uppermost layer also let's see which layer is this and hit ctrl v so as you get now it will look like that we are applying this color and uh, at 4 second this is going to be in the form of loop so hit n over here like this so as you guys can see we are getting this animation in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of animation inside of after effects like this okay and yep this is how you can create this kind of animation inside of after effects